so here the question is to compare the time periods of uh, two simple pendulums at a given place you know that at a given place time period of a simple pendulum depends only on the length of the pendulum because acceleration due to gravity is same for both the pendulums so here one pendulum is of length 1.8 meter okay and another pendulum is of length only 45 cm so let me take the length of the first pendulum l1 that's equal to 1.8 meter and the second pendulum length of the pendulum let me represent it by the letter l2 and that's equal to 45 cm well time period of first pendulum we can represent it by t1 and time period of second pendulum let it be t2 we have to compare the time periods we know that time period is directly proportional to square root of length of the pendulum therefore we can write time period of first pendulum divided by time period of second pendulum is equal to square root of l1 by l2 hope that you have learned this much in uh, your mathematics otherwise also we can uh, find it another way uh, let us take it this way time period t is equal to 2 pi square root of l by g that is the formula for time period of a simple pendulum so for the first uh, pendulum if i am writing time period t1 is equal to 2 pi square root of first pendulum length is l1 we have taken okay g is the same second pendulum t2 is equal to 2 pi square root of l2 by g when i am dividing t1 by t2 that's equal to 2 pi square root of l1 by g divided by 2 pi square root of l2 by g again it is easy to understand this 2 pi and 2 pi will get cancelled in fact this g and this g will get cancelled but let me do one more step this will be square root of l1 by g this my division sign i am changing that into multiplication then here i must use the reciprocal you know g by l2 that is square root of l1 into g divided by g into l2 and uh, as you understand this g and g get cancelled and you will get square root of l1 by l2 uh, this is uh, what i have uh, written here t1 by t2 is equal to l1 by l2 well now that's equal to square root of l1 l1 is uh, 1.8 meter divided by l2 is given as 45 cm there is a small issue this is in a si system this one this one is in a cg system so i will convert this into si system then it becomes 0.45 meter so here this is 0.45 meter so on dividing what will you get it's nothing but 1.8 divided by 0.45 that is 180 divided by 45 so you can cancel and you will get 4 by 1 yes here it is 4 by 
that is equal to square root of 4 that is 2 divided by square root of 1 1 well so the required ratio is uh, you know is equal to 2 is to 